Sacred Heart School uh, exists because of the love of Jesus Christ. And it is the love of Jesus Christ that draws us to this moment, but it's also been an opportunity for you to grow in the love of Jesus Christ and to bind yourselves to him. You know, we heard in the gospel the image of Jesus being the vine and we are the branches. And I think if we, as we all know that if you cut the branch off the vine, it dies, it dies. And so all these years have been a moment for you to be fed by the vine, Jesus, but also to attach yourself completely to him and to let his love really pulse through your life, really literally through your veins. Let the love of Jesus Christ truly guide and shape and form you. Um, and he says really in the gospel that without him, we can't really do anything. But with him, we can bear much fruit. So part of the fruit that we celebrate tonight is you. Six years being on the vine, Jesus with him, and with all the faculty and staff, it's been a moment for you to grow into who you are right now, each of you. And it is the love of Christ that has shaped you through your teachers, through your classmates, through your families, through your experience of Jesus in prayer, in the Word of God, and here at the Eucharist especially. That is a gift for you. But it doesn't stop there. Uh, obviously, after tonight, you are graduates of Sacred Heart. And uh, then starts another journey of faith. And you take with you, though, the Jesus you've learned about here and in your families. You take also with you all the gifts that God has poured upon you over these last six years. And there have been many, many. Now I know that your, your parents have been praying for you these last six years, also that you would get to this day. Uh, and some of your parents have been praying harder than other parents. Okay. Uh, and I know the faculty and staff has also been praying for you. Father Ken's been praying for you. Your principal has also been praying for you. Our principals that are behind me. Uh, and in a very real way, that's actually the love of Jesus Christ been poured over you these last six years. And that love is now meant to be taken from here to wherever you are going. That love is meant to be taken to whatever university, college, trade school, or even the armed services or work, whatever it may be. Because tonight, in a very special way, you were sent forth as disciples. And we've talked about this quite a number of times when I've been coming to visit you as a class. So you have come to know Jesus Christ here. My prayer has been you come also to love him and experience his love in your lives. And my prayer also has been as you have done your service throughout this last year and the last years, that that is actually part of who you are attached to the vine who is Jesus and thus tonight and forward you become witnesses of his love and you become witnesses that are able to participate in what he speaks about in the gospel he says if you remain in my love and and my words ask for whatever you want in my name and it will be done for you Wow! I had mercy on you because I had a bigger, wow! I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm not going to do that. That Jesus is offering to you, branches on the vine, the ability to live in his name, speak in his name, love in his name, and call people 
to him. And that your prayer becomes his prayer. Your time of loving one another and loving others becomes his love. And he says, by this, my Father, God the Father, is glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. So Jesus wants you to bear fruit in his name, just as I do, just as your parents do, just as all the faculty and staff does, to bear fruit in his name, in his love. And so he says to us, as the Father loves me, so as God the Father loves God the Son, so also I love you. So Jesus is saying very directly to each of you and to me and to us as a faith community that he loves us. That's why we're here. He loves us. And he asks us to remain in his love. My prayer for you is that you remain in his love. Wherever the Lord takes you, wherever life takes you, but that you go attached to the vine, that is Jesus, and that you take from him the grace you need, the love you need, to be the witness he calls you to be. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And amen. And amen. Now we're talking. Okay.